The history of soda from Coca-Cola to Pepsi. Hello and welcome to Crazy Food History, where we explore the world of food and drink. The nostalgia is not going to end with sips of your favorite soda. It's not just about the drink, but the emotion. What if we say that your nostalgia is not a sweet memory, but the biggest rivalry of soda history? It's more about the war that was unheard. Yes, you heard right. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the dark secrets of the soda war, so stay tuned. Two of the most well-known companies in the world, Pepsi and Coca-Cola, have been rivals for decades. Both corporations have made it a priority to control the soda market through relentless innovation and aggressive marketing. The long-running competition between Pepsi and Coca-Cola has several elements such as the two companies' competing marketing techniques, flavor advancements, and overall performance. And if you want to know the future of this soda war, make sure you stay tuned till the end. As far as the history, Coca-Cola and Pepsi have been rivals for more than a century, ever since their respective findings in the late 1800s and early 1900s. John Pemberton, a North Carolina pharmacist, came up with the idea for Coca-Cola in 1886, while Caleb Bradham, also a pharmacist, came up with the idea for Pepsi in 1893. Both companies initially targeted the southern United States regional market. Coca-Cola's rapid rise to prominence can be attributed to its distinctive flavor profile which combines cola nut and coca leaf extracts. The competition between Coke and Pepsi didn't really heat up until the 1930s and 1940s. Both companies' now iconic advertising efforts had their start around this time when they both spent extensively on promotion. Pepsi started advertising heavily as a healthier and cheaper alternative to Coca-Cola. When compared to Coca-Cola, Pepsi's target demographic was younger and more diversified, and the company's marketing reflected that. Coca-Cola fired back with advertising efforts that honed in on the superiority of its own product. Each firm competed aggressively with the other in an effort to win customers and increase sales and market share around the world. But this cannot be possible without advertising, so here's our next point. Among the many ways in which Pepsi and Coca-Cola stand apart from one another is in their advertising campaigns. Both companies put a lot of money into marketing and both have created campaigns that have become cultural touchstones. For instance, the Pepsi Generation campaign of the 1980s and 1990s prominently included celebrities like Michael Jackson and Ray Charles as brand endorsers. Recently, both businesses have made extensive use of digital marketing and social media to connect with customers and build a solid online identity for their brands. Particularly noteworthy is Pepsi's Pepsi Refresh program, which awarded funding to the best consumer-submitted proposals for local improvement initiatives. Also embracing digital marketing are companies like Coca-Cola, whose Share a Coke campaign put customers' names on bottles. We think that you people are also creative, so how about you suggest some good ad slogans in the comment box, so maybe someone can win some exciting prizes. Hey, coming to our next point. Pepsi and Coca-Cola have also competed with one another by developing and releasing new products and flavors. Over the years, both companies have launched several iterations of their signature products, from fruit flavor to low-calorie variants. In the 1980s, Coca-Cola introduced Diet Coke, which immediately gained popularity as a low-calorie alternative to the original soft drink. Pepsi, on the other hand, has released limited edition varieties like Pepsi Mango that try out new flavors and strategies. For instance, Coca-Cola has branched out into new types of beverages, such as sports drinks and bottled water, and has bought a number of brands over the years, including Minute Maid, Powerade, and Honest Tea. Pepsi is also diversified by expanding into new product categories such as snack foods like Doritos and Cheetos, and by acquiring other companies like Frito-Lay and Gatorade. Look, someone's craving for them. Yes, you! So stop craving and how about you let us know your favorite snack name in the comment box. Hey, if you want to know the impact of this, let's get to our next point. Both Pepsi and Coke have gone global, with their products available in virtually every country. Coca-Cola has adopted a more uniform strategy for its products and marketing in recent years with a unified brand narrative and global advertising push. The launch of Pepsi Ice Cucumber in Japan and the usage of Bollywood stars in advertisements in India are just two examples of how Pepsi is more open to customizing its goods and marketing to local taste and preferences. While both businesses' global expansions have been very successful, they have not been without difficulties and controversy. Pepsi has been criticized for its labor abuses in various nations, while Coca-Cola has been accused of wasting water supplies and contributing to environmental problems. 
Now the question is, does it impact their market participation? Pepsi and Coke have been rivals in the drink market for decades. Both companies have had drifting degrees of success in markets outside of the United States. Coca-Cola dominates the European CSD market with a 51.8% share, followed by PepsiCo with 14.1% share. However, in Asia, PepsiCo has a bigger market share than Coca-Cola does, with 12.9% of the CSD market versus Coca-Cola's 12.4%. Importantly, non-carbonated beverages including bottled water, sports drinks, and teas have become focal points for both Pepsi and Coca-Cola in recent years, expanding their product lines beyond just soda. Because of this, both businesses have been able to keep their respective shares of the ever-expanding and health-conscious beverage market while remaining competitive. But all this needs innovation. So now we get to our next point. Pepsi and Coke both have a history of flavor innovation, coming up with novel flavors and varieties to keep things interesting for their customers. The breakthrough introduction of Pepsi Cola, the first diet cola in 1964, was a huge success among health conscious drinkers. While Cherry Pepsi, introduced in 1988, was one of Pepsi's many successful flavor experiments of the 1980s. Crystal Pepsi, a transparent, caffeine free variant of Pepsi, was released the next year. Although Crystal Pepsi had been out of production since the early 1990s, it made a brief comeback in 2015. Coca Cola Energy, a new energy drink from the company introduced in 2020, mixes the familiar flavor of Coca-Cola with stimulating ingredients including caffeine and guarana extract. For example, in Australia, they sell Coca-Cola ginger, while in Japan, they sell Coca-Cola peach, both of which are regionally exclusive flavors. Both Pepsi and Coca-Cola have in recent years put a premium on delivering healthier options alongside new flavor profiles. In 2018, Pepsi launched its bubbly line of sparkling water, while Coca-Cola added the Dasani and Smart Water bottled water brands to its portfolio. Now, let's find out the answer to the question you're looking for. What lies ahead in the soda wars? The future of Pepsi and Coca-Cola's rivalry is unclear as customer preferences and attitudes regarding soda continue to alter. Both Pepsi and Coca-Cola have invested in healthier food and drink alternatives in response to consumer demand, and Coca-Cola has recently announced intentions to expand its line of low and no sugar beverages. Health and wellness products are becoming increasingly popular, and there is a growing desire for sustainable and environmentally friendly products, both of which may have an effect on the future of the soda sector. Whether Pepsi or Coke will continue to dominate the soda industry or whether new players will enter the market is dependent on how they react to these changes. The intense competition between Pepsi and Coca-Cola is a prime example of how effective branding and marketing can be in the consumer products industry. Each firm has built its own distinct brand identity and competitive strategy to stay at the forefront of the soda market. Whether or not these well-known brands can maintain their current level of success in the soda industry in the face of shifting customer taste remains to be seen. The soda wars are not over by any stretch of the imagination, regardless of what the future may bring. So what's your view on this? Let us know in the comment box and please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.